Hi and hello, I am Athena Pandian here. Welcome to the Athena Pandian channel once again. In this video, I am going to say something about uh, uh, the biomedical company's HR expectations from the freshers. So, which are all the points actually, the basic points uh, the HR people are expecting from the freshers, I am going to say. I am listed out some of the five important points actually. Which are all the five important points and what are all the um, small content required for each and every uh, points I am going to say in this video. Come, let me start the video now. Yes. The first point I would like to say uh, that is from the HR side, from the HR point of view, the basic uh, information they required is your resume preparation. Because most of the HR they are expecting your photograph should be there in the top of your resume. And then apart from that, the five important things under the resumes is required. First thing, uh, the photographs, your mail ID and the phone numbers. The mail ID and phone number should be in a correct way manner because most of the uh, HR people know once they are, you are shortlisted also, they just send the mail and they just uh, call back to you, but the phone is not reachable, the phone is in switch off condition, the mail is not received. Like that, most of the HR, uh, uh, they just uh, don't reply, don't give any kind of information. They are struggling to give the information. So, whatever the thing you have put it under, the, under your photo, your mail ID and the phone number should be in a proper way. And then the next they are expecting in the resume is uh, your academic qualifications. Your academic qualifications should be in an ascending order or in being a descending order. What is your uh, um, a recent qualification, whether it be ME or BE, and then your uh, higher secondary, and then your SSLC. And then once the academic qualification is getting over, don't put any unnecessary uh, things uh, like uh, uh, mission goals and all. Next to the academics, you just mention your projects. It may be a mini project or maybe a major project. You just mention there. In that project itself, don't write uh, only a single word as a title only. Put an importance to the project content. Make a heading or the title of the project. And then the small description about the project. Don't uh, put uh, the whole abstract of the project. The small description within uh, the two, two to three lines. And then how many days you did the project and how many members you did the project. Like that, you just put at least a two or three projects. Two mini projects and one major project. Or it may be whatever the thing you did in the semesters, did in the college studies, you just put. And once the project is getting over and then your experience or your certifications or your training. In that, uh, for example, if you are attended a uh, training in any of the hospital, just put a title of the particular hospital name. And then when you are attended and how many days you are attended. That is, that is the data. It is very important for uh, training attended, workshops attended and the conferences attended. And then you have an, any experience and when and how many days you are there in that particular company. All the details should be there. That is the dates and the durations of each and everything uh, what you are mentioning in the certification is also most important. And then what they are expecting from your resume is your personal details. Your personal details means that your family details, your father, your mother, your father's qualifications and what is your uh, um, family incomes and all the things they are expecting in that. And then your references. Most importantly, in the references, uh, you have just put the mobile number and the email ID of the reference person. The two references they are expecting. So these are all the things actually that you are expecting from the freshers' resumes. Okay, Only the resumes point of view I am saying. One is your academic uh, your photograph, your mail ID and your phone number, your academic qualification, your projects, your certification, training and then your references. Okay, These are all the details coming under the first point resume. Then the second point what they are expecting is self-intro. Uh, for example, what, whatever the company you are going to attend uh, any sort of the interview, they are expecting some of the, they are, the first question is give some of the small introduction about yourself. In that, they are expecting the three important things. One is, one is they are expecting your communication, your boldness and your confidence level. So three things they are expecting. So for that, you need to give at least a two minute, three minutes or four minutes of uh, time to explain about all the things. Don't... Uh, um, um, Explain about in a brief manner. Don't uh, complete your short intro in 1 minute or 50 seconds. You just elaborate in 3 minutes or 5 minutes. That make you, uh, the HR can able to understand about your uh, communication skill and your confidence level and your boldness. Okay. So self intro should be at least a 3 minutes to 5 minutes is most important. So prepare for that particular thing before you are going into the interview. And the third point after the self intro I want to say is um, you need to know about the company's uh, website. Before you are going to attend the, any any of the company's uh, interview, 
previous day or a day previous day you just please go through the website of the particular company and go through the each and every corner knock and corner of the website what is their uh, what is in the home page and what are their recent uh, um, recent products and which are all the in that the newsletters are also there you just please download the newsletter and go through what are the company's products there and what is their uh, short term revenue and what is their goal what is their vision all the kind of the details of the company you should know through the website that is also thing they are expecting uh, the hr people are expecting that is the third important point actually and the fourth important point they are expecting is uh, uh, some of the updated knowledge about the biomedical okay uh, some of the job roles they are asking for example you are applying for any application uh, role then they may ask what do you know what is application specialist role is like that they may ask so if you are going to apply any of the particular job role you are going to google it what is the actually the roles and responsibilities of the particular role and what is the actually a skills required for the particular role all the things you need to go through it before attending the interview that is the also thing that hr is people expecting and the final point they are expecting is technical aspects so how much amount of technical knowledge you are you are having because uh, for example you are going for any of the company particularly they are have some of that uh, department equipment for example it may be a cardiological equipment uh, application specialist or it may be a gynecological equipment uh, application specialist for example whichever the equipment you are going for the interview you are just going through some of the te- technical aspects behind the particular product that is most important for example if it is and you are going for application specialist in any of the company for ultrasound machine you are just go through all the ultrasound technical aspect what are the probes are there and what are the frequency required for each and every probes and uh, what are the, which are all the companies they are manufacturing the uh, that is the ultrasound machine and which are all the uh, modes available in the ultrasound machine like that the technical aspects behind the product you should be know about it okay so that is the thing you are the hr people is commonly expecting the basic information basic informations they are expecting from the fresher fresher is these two one points okay the there are the five important things actually uh, each and every hr expecting from the freshers that is the small basic things these are all the things so that is i i just repeat one is resume and then under that next is self introduction and then about the company and about the company means that uh, what about what you know about this particular company and then uh, that the fourth important point is uh, you need to remember about uh, uh, the recent updates what is happening in the biomedical engineering and then the technical aspects uh, about the particular product what is the product you are going to or attend the interview okay so these are all the five important things actually uh, most of the 90 percentage of the hr uh, people are expecting from you so be prepared and all the best thank you very much